Then inspect this! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you missed in Pixar's Elemental. Check this out. For this list, we'll be looking at small details and references from this 2023 Pixar film. These Easter eggs are anything but elementary. Did any little details spark your attention? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. A City of Puns This film overflows with elemental-based puns, many of which light up the backgrounds. When you make a film about elements, you are just setting yourself up for the puns. Instead of Toyota, there is an automobile manufacturer called Triota. We're guessing that their cars run on an environmentally friendly fuel source. The fireplace is a small, family-owned business, but Element City isn't without franchise stores like Pottery Burn. And fire? As ordered! We run a little hot. <laughs> the puns keep blazing across the end credits. We can't imagine how a retailer like Wix RS can survive in this economy, but they can always take out a loan from the Wells Far Glow Bank. If Element City ever becomes a Disney theme park attraction, we hope that they sell lighter finger candy bars and Colgate toothpaste for afterward. <laughs> Puns are the glue that holds this world together. Well, that and Scorch Tape. You're so hot. <laughs> Excuse me? No, I mean like you're smoking. No, I didn't mean it like that. Are you done yet? Yes, please. Number 9. The Partly Cloudy Air Elements We're still not sure how Elemental ties into the Pixar theory, but we're wagering that it's connected to Peter Sohn's directorial debut. Before making the leap to features, Sohn got his feet wet with the 2009 short Partly Cloudy. The story centers on a long-suffering stork who always winds up delivering dangerous babies, courtesy of a gray cloud. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to including a partly cloudy poster in Elemental, the air characters closely resemble the clouds from Sewn Short. Air usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket! According to Sewn, Elemental's air characters, quote, were more wispy and clear before taking on their puffier appearances. Partly Cloudy was met with technical limitations when it came out, but Sewn felt his team could now authentically anthropomorphize air. It's the next step in elemental evolution. Break some wind! Number 8. A Periodic Schedule The inspiration for Elemental derived from Sohn's experiences growing up in New York. You never leave this part of town. That's because everything I need is right here. You don't live in the Big Apple without becoming familiar with the subway system. It can be a little confusing, but it helps when the diagram's color-coded. Element City's subway schedule takes a colorful approach, but that's not the only unique touch. The chart's rows and columns are arranged to resemble the periodic table. Reflecting on his middle school days, Sohn said, quote, I never saw it as a periodic table. I always saw it as apartment buildings. There was something so funny about the skyline of the periodic table, these little squares being someone's home. Argon might live next to hydrogen. They would be neighbors. Growing up in New York, uh, I was terrible in science, but then when I saw this a periodic table, um, all I mm. saw was uh, apartment complexes. I oh, just cool. saw like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, all these people are in these little rooms. And Who says science can't inspire art? Number 7. The Voice of Ember's Father It's not uncommon for Pixar's artists to lend their voices to characters. Bob Peterson voiced Roz in Monsters, Inc. and Doug in Up. There's the bird! I want to take it back. I want it to be my prisoner. The late Joe Ramft voiced Heimlich in A Bug's Life and Wheezy in Toy Story 2. Well, why didn't you yell for help? Well, I tried squeaking, but I'm still broken. No one could hear me. In addition to co-writing Inside Out, Ronnie Del Carmen voiced Windstar in Soul. My body is in a trance in Palawan. Del Carmen takes on a more substantial role in Elemental as Bernie Lumen, Ember's aging father. This shop is dream of our family. Someday it'll all be yours. Just as Bernie immigrates to Element City, Del Carmen was born in the Philippines where, at age 15, he landed a painting gig on Apocalypse Now. In the late 80s, he immigrated to the U.S. to pursue a film career. Del Carmen worked at Warner Brothers and DreamWorks before laying down roots at Pixar. Number 6. The Good Element at the same theater where Partly Cloudy is playing, you'll notice another familiar title. The elements of a perfect movie-going experience. No, we're not talking about Tide and Prejudice. 
Although we are eager to see this universe's version of Mr. Darcy. I love you. Most ardently. Please do me the honor of accepting my hand. Or is that Darcy, S-E-A? We digress. Another poster advertises a movie entitled The Good Element. This pays homage to Sohn's first feature film, The Good Dinosaur. As different as they seem on the surface, Sohn's two features share a fair deal in common. Both are about the forces of nature, with Elemental taking a more literal approach. Sorry. The two films also center on characters working through prejudices to coexist. You! I should have killed you the first time! This is all your fault! We imagine that the good element has a similar setup, but what are dinosaurs comprised of in this world? Maybe an extinct fifth element. Number 5. A Language of Ice and Fire Upon arriving in Element City, Ember's parents stick out from the crowd. This isn't just due to their physical appearances, but because of the language barriers. Where everyone else speaks English, Mr. and Mrs. Lumen talk with a fiery lingo. The fire language isn't gibberish. To make this world feel more authentic, the filmmaker sought out renowned conlanger David J. Peterson, who's created languages for projects like Dune, The Hundred, and Raya and the Last Dragon. But the rest of them are being held by a bunch of no-good Binturis. Binturi? Now that's not a very nice way to describe an old friend. Peterson is best known for his work on Game of Thrones, conceiving Dothraki, High Valyrian, and other languages. Dracarys. At one point, the Elemental team used fire sound effects as a means of communication. Ultimately, the sounds would inspire Peterson while crafting a native fire language known as Fireish. But we all live by one simple rule. Enemies cannot mix! Number 4. Blue Flame Souvenir Elemental is yet another Pixar film that gets Asian representation right. This hot streak arguably started with Domi Shi's Bao, so it's only fitting that Elemental sneaks in a reference to that Oscar-winning short. The blue flame is a sacred symbol that connects the Lumens to their homeland, but that doesn't mean they can't merchandise it. At the front counter of the Lumen family's shop, there is a display for blue flame souvenirs. The little trinkets resemble the sentient bun from Bao, albeit with a bluer hue. Aside from celebrating Asian culture, Elemental and Bao explore how children relate to parents as they attempt to carve out their own paths. I've been trying to fill my father's shoes, but I never once asked what I wanted to do. Both films also show how food brings families together, assuming that it's not too spicy. You see? He likes it! <laughs> <laughs> Number 3. A113 it wouldn't be a Pixar film without a salute to A113, the CalArts classroom where numerous animators took their initial steps toward the big league. Got A113 in progress. All units report. Elemental delivers one of the most inventive examples, as showcased in the teaser trailer. On the subway, you might have spotted the letters A, H, and A, L. They may seem like random letters until you take a closer look at the periodic table. H notably represents hydrogen, the first element. A, L is aluminum, the 13th. A alone doesn't stand for any element, but when you add 1 and 13, you get one of Pixar's longest-running in-jokes. Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Number 2. Ralph's Cafe we mentioned a few businesses that make up Element City, but Ralph's Cafe will likely resonate the most with animation fans. The name pays tribute to Ralph Eggleston, who won an Oscar for his short For the Birds. That was far from Eggleston's only contribution to Pixar. I really love making movies. Since working on the original Toy Story, Eggleston served as an art director, character designer, and story writer on some of the studio's most beloved films. 
Sadly, Eggleston's life was cut short due to a pancreatic tumor in 2022. Eggleston had hired Peter Sohn over 20 years earlier, becoming his friend and a mentor. I think putting your heart into the story is a big ingredient to what makes a Pixar film work. In his memory, Sohn snuck this Easter egg into Elemental. Eggleston is also one of several names that the film is dedicated to. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Elio It's tradition for Pixar films to tease what's coming next. Uh. You're the talk of the communiverse! If mom could see me now. In Lightyear, the vending machine contains an elemental product called Wade Water. Anyone go for a snack? Wade takes center stage alongside Ember in Elemental. During a flashback, we see a young Wade develop a fear of sponges. Water is always getting into something. Oh. Oh. Help! In the background, there's a poster for the school's Space Club. This references Pixar's next feature, Elio. This is new. <laughs> Set to come out in 2024, this sci-fi film centers on an 11-year-old misfit who's sent across the galaxy. Having a close encounter with aliens, the titular character is mistaken for Earth's ambassador. Until that film comes out, we're just wondering how Element City's space program works. Considering what happens to water in space, it's safe to say Wade will never be an astronaut. agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.